is going on you guys Joe Pro here bringing you guys a brand new video today's video guys I'm bringing you guys a vi a video on the cool fire IV now this is cool fire IV TC 100 anyways this is it as you guys can see this is it uh, ignore this that is not it I will put on the tank it came with in a minute but this is the TC IV um, 100 pretty much so okay so this vape i think started at i think 120 or 109 uh i'm pretty sure it was 109 if i'm correct anyways so this is the tank it actually came with right <clears throat> um if you guys were wondering what kind of tank i had on that i had the tf v8 right i had the cloud beast tf v8 by smock on uh the cool fire this vape i think before i want to say yesterday i think yeah it was before yesterday before yesterday before yesterday i got this vape and okay i'm doing this video to give a, my review on it and i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys this is probably the best vape i've had so far uh my last vape review that was the first vape i've had not ever but like recontinuing it Anyways, this is the tank it came with, right? Just the basic tank. Uh, now, this tank can hold up, I think, to 60 to 70 watts, if I'm correct. Maybe even 50, not much. So when he told me that, right? And this can go up to 100 watts. Okay, this one, th that's what I'm saying. I had to get this. Okay, I had, the t I had to get the TFEA tank. I had to. Um, I wanted more clouds and I wanted to go up to 100 watts because this tank can go up to 260 watts, you know, so 100 watts for that tank is nothing, right? Anyways, so as you guys can see, yeah, you get the main button right here, this one, the one that sticks out right here, that is the power button, you click it, and the first time it opens, right, you get a bunch of options, you get NI200, you get titanium, SS, and wattage I want wattage so I'll click on this and as you can see I was running at 80 watts that's because I had like I said the TFEA tank on it so I'm actually gonna have to put this down so you guys there's like this minus and this plus button right here that's how you you know change how high and low you want it I'm gonna go ahead and put it at like 55 anyways so this like I said I can I got it in blue there was steel silver steel I think it was stainless steel and um <clears throat> blue and i thought blue looked better to be honest and i also got the blue tf v8 so it matches with my tank uh with my mod <coughs> fucked up so <clears throat> Let me show you guys I fucked up. You see this airflow? This is the <coughs> airflow. I had it like this. There is absolutely no airflow like this. If you put it like this, as you guys can see, there's actually a hole now. So it, <laughs> it's actually going to be. Okay. It's not bad. For at 55 watts, I mean, it's still decently high. So I've had no leakage problems, nothing with this so far, okay? This tank does not absorb juice like this one, okay? Not whatsoever. <clears throat> if if you don't have a lot of juice, I have four back there. And currently, I'm currently vaping on the black, the black Venom. So I'm currently vaping on this. Uh, let me see. Trying to get the focus. Uh, it's extremely good. It's from JB Blend. I think it's a Montreal company. It's very. This doesn't absorb juice like my TFV8. So if you guys, you know, are upgrading to a tank and you don't, you can't get a lot of juice. Do not go to the TFV8. I maybe refilled this thing ten times already. Okay, I got this before yesterday. Right. Yeah. Okay. That may not sound like a lot, but. I still haven't refilled this one, okay? This is me, it's still from the first time I've, I, I've put it in, 
right? I'm gonna show you guys here the coil. I'm sure I'm gonna show you guys the package soon. This is the coil right down here. Okay. I'm gonna you gotta untwist the bottom as you can see. This will actually come off like so. This is your coil right here. So I actually had a little bit of difficulty trying to get the coil off. I cut myself a couple times right on my finger. You guys can't see it, but it was scratching me all on my finger. Like I was twisting this so hard, like it was going like this and it was coming off. And then I put my nail like in this part right here, just twisted it and boom, it just came out <laughs> like so. So as you guys can see, this is the coil, right? Tiny. Like I said, tiny, 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 tiny compared to my TFV8 coil. So to put it back in, you just simply put it in, twist it, right? That's that's literally all you have to do. Taking it out was a little harder, but uh, we're, we're okay. We're not going to the hospital or nothing. We're good. So the packaging, the packaging. So it came like this. There was a little cover on it. The Cool Fire 100 by Enokin. You first open this, right? You get this. I mean, not this. Ignore this. You don't get this. You get the you get the mod and that little tank. You take this off, right? You get all this. You get a protective case for your vape. So you actually, it's rubber. You put this on your, your mod right here. So if it ever falls or anything like that, it will not break. Okay? You get a extra coil. You get an extra coil in here. This is an, uh, an extra mouth tip. Black thing, the mouth tip. And this, these little rings here, are for leakage. If your tank ever leaks, you can pretty much seal your tank with these little rubber bands. Uh, and it will not leak, right? Pretty cool. You So that's what you get in the package. Man, honestly guys, it is... A very nice vape if you guys are definitely looking to get a vape uh, and you're pretty much a starter and but you're like upgrading a bit but you don't want to go too big get this wherever I blow right now there's smoke my my room is hot boxed as we speak you guys see that Yes, see that smoke. So, I'm gonna take this tank off. All right, let's put this on. We got the mod. We got the tank. You just simply screw this on. Now, I am definitely gonna be doing a review on on this tank. Don't even worry about that. Okay, this is. I'm not reviewing it because, you know, this is this, it's a review on this bitch. Like 100. 100 100 oh yeah you guys do get this charger too you guys get the charger to of course charge your vape uh simply have a simply have a plug in right there and you just plug that bitch in and that's it okay currently have black venom in this and uh as you guys can see if you guys can it's at 100 watts right now yeah come on Anyways, it's at 100. You guys will see. Right? Right? Beast. Okay? This is what I'm saying. If you guys like this review get this vape that's all i gotta say you guys can see it makes it makes some fat clouds right like it is fat but it is so fat anyways if you guys want this i will leave a link in the description for you to go buy yourself one and you know what guys keep vaping I will see you guys in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this, subscribe if you're new. Peace.